All right. So we've got this bed, and I've already pulled the mattress right here. And what you want to do is you want to flip it up. Now, I've already treated a little bit inside this bed, but I want to kind of show you. You want to check around these staples here. Now, this is all this felt has been removed. See, there's still a little piece of it left right here. But you, you open it up all the way around your staples, and you want to treat really heavy. Now, I use a BNG, and I re recommend that if you're going to try this yourself, that you get a BNG. But you want to treat all around. Now, like I said, you want to make sure you get a chemical that's going to be legal to treat inside your box springs. Because not all chemicals will allow you. Now, this is Crossfire, and it's a very loose label. And you want to get every little crack around all the staples. And I've got a little bit of a video that I'm going to show. And it doesn't have any sound or anything like that. It's just got a little bit of a voiceover. But um, I've got another little piece of uh, video I'm going to show you right now. Uh, exactly where all these bed bugs were on this box spring. And this is one of those things I was telling my uh, live stream Friday that I'm doing as uh, part of my uh, give back. Basically, I'm trying to give back to community and I'm doing this bed bug treatment for free. Okay, so here we see the, uh, as I pull back the piece of fabric there wrapped around the mattress, you can see that uh, there's some bed bug droppings. Uh, in the little crack there where the wood is held together, kind of scraping the bed bugs off the frame a little bit. Um, we'll move up, and you can kind of see where there's a couple spots where they haven't been living, but then you see right where the cracks where the wood is joined together. They really like to get in there. There's a few there that you can see how I brush them off with my gloves. I would advise it that you always wear gloves when you deal with bed bugs. You don't want them all over your hands or their poop or anything like that, which that's what all those little flakes are is poop. Uh, so you can tell that where the bed bugs have been living. If you see that on your bed, you know that's that you do have bed bugs. And you can see how they've been living inside the box spring as well right here where I scrape them kind of down inside the box spring. You see there uh, all over the bed. Uh, and this is a home, like I said, where they were, they were really having a real serious problem with the bed bugs. Uh, everything that you donate via my Patreon, uh, YouTube, um my, I've got donations on PayPal. They're all way, they're links right in the uh, right on my front page of my channel up at the top on my channel art. I've got little buttons there. You could donate via PayPal. You could donate on Patreon. Patreon's more like a monthly type service. If you want to give something every month, you can. But everything that I collect via those services goes to pay for uh, needy families, people low income that can't support themselves with the with the bed bug treatment. That they're doing the best they can, being able to put food on the table, and it's the least I can do to try to help them out and get rid of their bed bugs. So this is a, a completely uh, pro bono treatment um, done for this this customer here. He's a veteran and he's a really good guy. He just can't afford the pest control, so I'm doing it for free. And this is based on the generosity of all of my YouTube family. You guys have been really great supporting me. Uh, like the video, uh, share the video, and uh, it really does help the channel, and it does boost. I do monetize all my videos. Any money that I collect from YouTube or Google, I take and put directly into this service that I provide. A lot of people don't know I do this. My wife actually told me that I should uh, tell you guys about it so that maybe we could get some more help for these people that really need it. Uh, you guys have a really great day. I really appreciate it. And enjoy these few clips that I've got uh, treating this guy's house for bed bugs. Thanks. Okay, so here you see I'm uh, getting ready to flip a couch upside down. And uh, we got to make sure we get under the couch because bed bugs will live on a sofa. And uh, it's kind of like in pieces. It's three different pieces. And you see right here where I have to flip these little flaps. A lot of couches have those on them now where you can actually get up underneath the inside workings of the couch. And you can't really see real well from this video, but the bed bugs were living underneath those flaps there. And so you have to make sure that you lift those flaps up so that you could treat inside the couch. And now here, I've got my BNG. Make sure you get it a, a decent pressure. And uh, you want to treat inside really well up inside the sofa. And so uh, 
Here I'm treating around all the workings, all of the mechanical parts, because the bed bugs will live on the mechanical parts of a couch inside here. See where those flaps really do make a difference. I'm able to be able to treat all up inside the flaps and everything of the couch. And uh, like I said, that's really, really important. You want to be very thorough because the bed bugs will live in every little nook, every cranny, every little spot. And you see, I'm not really drenching it. You don't want to get the couch so wet that the chemical runs off. You want to just lightly mist like what I'm doing because the chemical does last for a month. Like I said, it is crossfire and it will last for a month. Now here I'm, I'm actually treating inside those flaps where the bed bugs have been living all across the, uh, the piece of Velcro. And they love to get into the Velcro flaps. So see, I'm treating here, all up inside. And you want to make sure you're just, like I said, you can't be more thorough. You have to be very, very thorough when you treat inside these areas. Because uh, anywhere that there's a crack that the bed bugs can live in, if you don't get some kind of a residual there, then the bed bugs will absolutely live there. So you've got to make sure that you treat these areas. Now, I'm going to flip the couch back up, and we're going to treat inside around the cushions, around the arms of the couch. Now, you see here where I'm showing you about the arms, and you can flip them up so you can get underneath the footrests. Bed bugs will live on the footrests, so you want to open them up the best you can. Now, the middle part does not have a footrest, so you can't actually treat around that part, but you can get to it from underneath where I showed you where you flip the flap up. You could get up underneath it pretty well. Uh, but anyway, you, you make sure that you get around all the arms. Uh, you peel back the arms of the couch. Make sure you get down inside those areas. Now, you see here where I'm treating underneath the footrests really well around all of the little mechanical parts that control the footrest. And you want to do the same thing also. Now, it's not really pictured here because they don't really have one, but Lazy Boy chairs are made in this exact same way. And so you want to make sure that you treat a Lazy Boy in the exact same fashion where the, uh, like I said, where the, where the footrests pop out. You want to be able to treat all up around there and everything too. And so uh, here I'm, I'm uh, going to go over and actually treat inside this little box area because the bed bugs, what the biggest complaint he was having at this house was that they were biting him. Every time he sat on the couch, they'd come out and they'd get on his arms. So you see where I treat up behind the armrest? They're definitely behind the armrests, and they're coming out and they're biting him every time he lays his arm right there on the couch. So if you're having problems where the bed bugs are actually biting your arms, check behind the armrest. It's a real common place for the bed bugs to live. And uh, after the end of this uh, little clip here, we'll go and we'll watch me treat a sectional couch and uh, coming up right now. All right, so we see here where I'm starting to actually take apart the sectional. You want to be real careful. You don't want to damage anything, but you take the cushions off. Lay them on a spot where, you know, they're not going to be in the way. You uh, <clears throat> pull the cushions up. And when you pull the cushions up, now see, you can't really treat on top of these cushions because this is a uh, like a faux leather. You don't want to accidentally stain the leather. And so when you pull it up, check underneath the cushions really well. Make sure there's no bed bugs or anything living there because they will live there. And see, I pick up a sock. You don't want to spray people's clothing or anything like that. You can't do that. So you pick up the couch, you look under it, check around all the feet and everything when you're treating a couch. You don't want the, uh, now see here, we'll show you the, uh, like around the feet where they sit in the floor, the uh, little piece of felt here. Now I'm going to show you here, this is exactly what I was talking about on that mattress. Now he has put a bunch of diatomaceous earth inside the couch. That's what that little puff of smoke was. But um, as you look inside the couch, that's the spot you really want to pay really close attention to around the frame just like i showed you on that bed the bed bugs will live inside the couch just like they do uh in the box spring so you get like so i've got my bng i'm treating up inside really well all up around the bed frame uh, or the box frame 
for the couch, around the springs, around the inner workings of the sofa. You want to make sure you get really good around there. Don't leave any cracks. Don't leave any crevices. Nothing like that untreated because any crack, any crevice that's left untreated is a place where bed bugs will absolutely live. I could almost guarantee, especially in a house that is really heavily infested like this one was, as you saw the the mattress earlier so uh, or box spring so you want to make sure like here i'm treating around all the feet you'll make sure you get really good around the feet around all the staples of the felt and you flip it back up now be like i said be real careful here i made a little bit of a mistake knocked a little picture frame down there uh you don't want to break people's things this is you know you don't want to break your own stuff either but that luckily didn't break and so like I said, just be real careful when you're when you're handling people's furniture and things like that. Uh, here, I, I actually removed an electrical cord. You want to be sure that you don't want to spray anything, especially if you're using a uh, you know liquid pesticides, not to get anything on anybody's electrical appliances or anything on their plugs or you know anything like that. So here, I'm going to open this up. Now, there's that piece of felt again, exactly like it was on the bed and on the other part of the couch. And like I said, you want to make sure you get really good inside these areas because people come, they sit on the couch, they're sitting for you know an hour or two watching a nice movie. Bed bugs like to sit anywhere where people are uh, sedentary. And so uh, anywhere more than like an hour or two, you want to make sure you heavily treat these areas, which is why couches are really important and lazy boys and love seats and things like that. So uh, just make sure you're just really, really thorough. You don't want to miss any spots at all. And uh, like I said, get inside around all the frame and everything. So be real careful when you lay the uh, couches back down that you don't, you know, knock people's stuff off in the floor. You don't want to break your things. So just, just understand that, you know, they're kind of clumsy pieces of furniture to deal with. Uh, be sure you treat all good like this, all up underneath where you were going to lay your cushions so that they, uh, so that any bed bugs that might crawl between the cushions will die when they try to get away. And uh, so here, I'm going to show you about the zipper. Now, every cushion has one of these zippers right here. You want to make sure that you zip it open. You want to check inside the zipper. Make sure that there's no bed bugs living inside the zipper. Uh, same with like futon mattresses and things like that. You want to make sure the bed bugs aren't living around the zipper. They weren't on this particular couch, but I have seen them live on the zippers of futon mattresses. So uh, check out this next clip of me uh, checking on a king-size bed. Now, you want to be really careful when you're dealing with a king-size bed because they are very, very heavy. And you see I'm struggling just a little bit. Usually, it is better to bring a second person with you to help you uh, get the, the mattress off of the bed. And so here, I'm lifting the mattress up. And I just wanted to, to show you, really, the only reason I made this video is just to show you the amount of labor that it really does take to get these beds apart. Uh, it is an awful lot of work. This bed itself really didn't have that much problem with bed bugs on it, not like the other beds. But I just wanted to give you this little bit of a uh, show. This is where the bed bugs like to live. You see how the two foundations meet together in the middle? Bed bugs love to live there. And so I'm going to go ahead and I took this mattress apart and I dealt with all the bed bugs inside the bed frame just like I did on the other box springs. And so I'm not going to go over that here, but hopefully this video has helped you all uh, like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate everything that you guys do and uh, join up with my Patreon. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it.